Hey, I'm Russ Jones. Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. It's the crawfish time of the year, and that's exactly what we're doing here today. Instead of boiling crawfish, I'm going to show you how to steam crawfish. Mr. Keith Jenkins with Frogbone Cajun Sauces, this is his method, his technique for steaming crawfish, and I'm here to tell you the best ones I've ever eaten. I've been eating boiled crawfish all my life. The steam beats it hands down. Don't ask me why. I think it's the fact that they're cleaned so well through the steaming process. The first thing I detected after biting into one was a real clean, flavorful crawfish. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you how to do it. In order to do the steaming method, it requires two pots. First thing we're going to do is make a soaking liquid. All right, if you'll look right here, I've got seven inches of water. That's the first requirement in uh, doing this recipe that Keith Jenkins come out with is seven inches of water in a 120 quart pot. We're going to go ahead and light this up and get it up to a rolling boil. All right, I just fired it up. It's not going to take long. They'll come up to a boil a little bit quicker if you put the lid on. Sounds like a jet engine out here. I'm probably talking too loud trying to talk over it. These little lapel mics are pretty good about canceling out a lot of that noise, so you're probably not hearing near what I'm hearing. I'm gonna start by going in with the frog bone Cajun seafood pre-boil mix. 12 cups goes into this seven inches of water. There's four cups. This makes it eight cups. And this makes it 12 cups. Now you want to add in eight cups of the Zadaran's liquid crab bowl. Eight cups. This makes four cups. Here's two more bottles going in for a total of eight cups. This is two cups of the cayenne pepper. Going to end up putting three cups. Going to start off with these two. And one more makes three. This is 100% real lemon juice. You want to go in with a total of four cups. What I have here is one gallon of onion, five pounds of onions that was pureed until we end up with one gallon pureed it in a, a food processor with a little water to make more of a slush out of it. Keep in mind, all this is Keith Jenkins' idea. That he came up with this, not me. One gallon of onion going in. Celery, same thing. Pre-raid celery with a little bit of water. Two cups going in. Now, something Keith didn't do in his steaming method was add bay leaf. I always add bay leaf to any seafood boil, crawfish boil. It's excellent. Probably got... 30, 40 pieces going in there. You really can't get too much. There we go, bay leaf. Another twist I always do with crawfish is I add in pickled jalapenos. This is 16 ounces. I've already drained the water out, going in. And one more little secret ingredient. This is the frog bone, bone reaper. This stuff is potent. We're gonna hold right there. All right, I'm gonna put the lid back on this. We're gonna let this boil for about 10 more minutes just to make sure all those onions, the celery, all the powders, everything gets nice and married up together and dissolves.
it's got to cool down to at least 147 degrees, no lower than 143. Right in that range is ideal. And what that does is when you add the steamed crawfish into this bath, it's going to no longer cook. It's not hot enough to keep cooking the crawfish to make them mushy. But what it is going to do is let them absorb all that flavor because the seasonings, the water, the juice, it's all cooled down. Everything's on sink. It's going to be perfect. I know from experience, two years running already. Now I would like to uh, answer a question. I've got numerous questions on a video that I went to Madisonville, Louisiana last year, and they keep asking me, how do, how do you purge crawfish? For years, people would put them in a wash tub with salty water and purge out crawfish. I was just reading an article the, the other day that kind of debunked that whole thing, and basically what salt water does to crawfish is kills them. You don't purge crawfish, you clean them, you wash them. But with that said, when I get through the steaming method, you talk about an extra good clean. It's going to be some kind of clean. It does purge them. So I hope that clears it up for any of you that's been asking that question about purging crawfish. You, pur you don't purge them, you wash them. So right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my steaming water prepared here. And once this uh, temperature comes down on this soaking pot, we're going to fire this bad boy up and we're going to steam some crawfish. All right, keeping with the theme of Louisiana and Louisiana flavors, a bead of beer. It's made right there in the Bita Springs, Louisiana, Turbo Dog. I'm going in with a whole six pack of the Bita beer. It's a really good beer too, by the way. Now on top of this six pack of a Bita Turbo Dog, you want to put in about two and a half gallons of just plain water. water is around two inches deep, about the length of my finger here, about two inches. Now I'm going to take this basket lid and insert it just above the water to where the crawfish doesn't actually come in contact with the, the fluid, the juice. There we go, in place. Like I said, once this gets down to uh, 150 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up, put our crawfish in, we're going to rock. I just took all the crawfish, I transferred them into the steaming basket. We're going to go ahead and get this boiling and get some steam going. Go ahead and place our lid on here. This should take about a minute and a half. See this foam right here? That's what you want. That's when you're ready. That little two inches of fluid brought this foam all the way to the top. I actually choked down on the pot just a little bit. We're going to take our crawfish, put our lid on this, crank her back up. It's going to take four and a half minutes. These will be done. Look at the steam pouring out of this bad boy. We're about two minutes into it. We've got about two and a half more minutes to go. Look how pretty, fully cooked. Man, yeah. All right, now as I stated, we are doing steamed crawfish. Now, I already know I'm gonna have some questions. Where's the corn, where's the potatoes, where's the mushroom, where's the sausage? When you steam crawfish, you wanna do that separately. And, and the biggest reason, well, for one reason, it's steamed. But another reason is you don't want the potatoes and the mushrooms and everything competing with the seasonings that we built over here in the soaking pot. You want just a crawfish to go into this. This is a recipe that has been refined by Keith Jenkins, and you really don't want to mess it up. So, All right, we're going to take the crawfish out of the 80-quart basket. We're going to transfer them into the 120-quart basket. Take this basket, and we're going in to our soak. There we go. Now these are just going to sit here and soak for at least 25, maybe 30 minutes. And they're going to soak up all this flavor, and they're going to be good. Just look at the filthy, dirty water. That's what steaming crawfish does. It gets rid of all the mud. It gets rid of everything. No purging needed. I guarantee you that. I already know what these taste like. They're going to be some kind of fine. There were some really nice sized crawfish in this bunch too. They're kind of uh, mixed. I mean, look at that bad boy. Really nice. All right, let's try it. 
Oh man, spicy good. Mm. If you're a crawfish eater, if you know all about boiling crawfish, I implore you to try the steaming method. Hands down, best crawfish I've ever eaten. They're just super, super clean, even the head. If you'll notice, you don't have all the gunk in there like you normally do. That steaming process really just takes care of that proof in that pot that I just showed you earlier. Give us another one to try here. Oh man, such good flavor, hot and spicy, just the way I love crawfish. I don't like my shrimp or crabs this hot. I like crawfish hot, and the reason why, because you want a good cold beer with it. Something about cold beer and crawfish. Sal, this buzz for you, buddy. Till next time, Smoky Ribs.